Well, today's the day. Today's the day I choose the winner of the Pelican Catch 120 giveaway contest. One thing though that I want to touch on before I announce a winner is what I hope to achieve aside from just giving somebody a kayak. What I'm hoping is that this contest inspires people to be a little bit more creative. Maybe they'll go and try to make some modifications themselves. Yep, that's the one. Some of the most rewarding things I've ever worked on have been things that I've worked on myself. That's because I find that some of the most fun I've ever had has been making like DIY projects. I truly hope that uh, this contest inspires some of the thousands of people who don't get to win this kayak to try a project of their own. And um, if that be the case, then I know that uh, it, this contest is definitely worth it. can't get over the enormous response to this contest giveaway. Pelican must make some really uh, nice kayaks, huh? Uh, last I checked there were 5,352 comments. And I've read through them all. I've uh, kept notes on who left what comment and in what order and uh, I've been doing this over the past couple of weeks. Every once in a while when I had it in me I would sit down for four or five hours until my eyes bled and I would read through all of your comments and uh, there have been a few I picked three as a finalist but uh, like I said earlier I really hope that this inspires some of you to go out and try modifying a kayak you know add something even if it's a rod holder or, or a camera mount or as many of you suggested a uh, bimini uh, to keep you out of the sun uh, there, there were actually lots of really cool comments. The, the ones about the, the plexiglass bottom, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, that would be really difficult. And plexiglass uh, scratches easy and a lot of us uh, kayak in dirty water, so I didn't really go for that one. The LED lights, there was a lot of suggestions for that. Um, I have trouble with batteries and such, and I didn't feel like I could conquer that very good. Uh, some companies out there offer packages that you can just buy and install. That would be better than my DIY, hmm, perhaps. Uh, and there were a couple things like that. The fish finders, the... Um, oh, the list went on and on and on. Um, I actually got some good ideas. One guy suggested uh, sea legs, which is this contraption that goes on the bottom of pontoon boats and will actually lift the, like, like legs for a, for a ship and... Uh, Stuff I had no idea existed, and um, there were a couple of uh, um, examples like that. Uh, but as far as the winner is concerned, I have three people that I chose as finalists, and all three of these people will get like a little package from me in the mail. Um, I might send them a little tiki, perhaps a lure or something, you know, and a note from me um, thanking them for participating. And I want to say right now, thank you to everybody who has participated in this contest. It's been um, a lot of work. <laughs> I might have run it differently if I realized I had to read all of your comments. But um, all kidding aside, here are the three people who are finalists in this contest. The first one is Patrick Palumbo, who is from Sulphur, Louisiana. And um, he said uh, that he's a disabled man and has a, a difficult time standing from a low seated position would like to see the seat on the catch 120 raised up a little bit and um, if that makes it unstable then perhaps pontoons and um, that would be some work but it would be a cool build and um, 
anyways, that's the uh, the first entry that I considered. The second one was from Chris Corfield from Syracuse, New York. And, hey, New York, how you doing, Chris? <laughs> he suggested, um, this one kind of struck me because, and there were a few of the, uh, a few of these suggestions, but uh, Chris mentioned that he has um, uh, young children, a three and five year old, I believe, and in the past he's tried to uh, build a seat on the front of the kayak for them so he can take them along with him on his uh, fishing trips or uh, paddling trips at the very least. And um, again, that father son thing, you know, kind of uh, even a daughter or father, you know, any kind of relationship like that with a dad kind of. Um, it means a lot to me uh, because you know it's been a long time since I spoke to my dad and you know whatever we had our falling out and that's that I mean I'm sure he's out there somewhere if he's still alive <clears throat> but uh, I saw that comment and I thought well you know Chris is gonna make the list uh, the third person is Marie Miller she's from Chattanooga Tennessee and uh, Again, this comment struck me a little bit because she wrote, she'd like a removable platform on the front for a small dog to sit on. And uh, if you watch my videos, you know that in the past I've taken my dogs along with me. A uh, small dog would be much better than two big dogs. <laughs> um, but I already have a good idea on how I can modify a kayak uh, to accept a small dog. Um, she also added to add some art to it, and that'd be kind of neat. And a couple of people mentioned stuff like that, you know, like putting a Viking front on the boat, you know, with the tiki carving and stuff and tiki stickers and, uh, you know, a lot of these suggestions were really, really cool. But again, these are the three that I picked, Patrick, Chris, and Marie. Thank you very much for your submissions. And um, of the three semifinalists, I am picking, and this is a spur of the moment thing, I haven't really thought this out, but... Um, I'm uh, I'm picking Patrick. Patrick Palumbo from Sulphur, Louisiana. And um, he mentioned in his comment that um, it's the hard time that he has being on the kayak and getting up with his uh, his disability, or whatever. That he's not gotten on a kayak yet, and it's keeping him from trying it. So I know that the Catch 120 is a stable kayak as it is. So. If I can add pontoons to this thing, <sighs> I didn't think I'd ever have to build pontoons again, but what the heck, I've done it before and I'm sure I could do it again. So Patrick, I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to try to raise the seat up and add pontoons and um, who knows, I might add a little thing here and there and then um, between Pelican and myself, we'll try to get this thing shipped out to you. And to Chris and Marie, I thank you so much for your submissions. Sorry I didn't win, but again, I will, if you give me your address in a private message or something, I'll send you a package of stuff that, um, just as a way of saying thank you. And for everybody else who has joined this contest, I mean, thank you. Thank you. It's incredible to know the, the, the following that I have. You know, when I put videos up and I share parts of my life and this and that, that you're all with me. So... <laughs> it means a lot. It really, it really does. So, uh, Patrick, look out for uh, future videos and uh, correspondence. I'll be in touch with you. Uh, I should have. Um, uh, I hope you'll allow me a little bit of time to get this all put together. Um, your build is going to be somewhat complex, and it's going to take some time. I'll try to do it as uh, quickly as I can. Even though later this week I'm supposed to put motors in this boat. <laughs> No problem, no pressure, right? <clears throat> and uh, Chris and Marie also, uh, keep an eye out for your packages. And uh, one last time, I want to just say thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks for entering the contest and uh, for your subscriptions and comments and all that good stuff. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it.